what is up guys? Dashing here for the big 2-0 episode 20 of Community Universe Mode. And we are now just two weeks away from WrestleMania. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are pumped too. We've got an awesome night of jam-packed action, awesome matches. So let's jump right into it with this opening contest right here, which is sure to be an awesome one. We've got an extreme rules match, guys, between Paul Anderson and Xander Slate. And I, it says it's lagging up in the corner. Oh, as soon as I said it, it was alive. So there you go. <clears throat> A stipulation besides the extreme rules factor is added to this match, guys. The general manager, William Regal, is giving Paul Anderson one last chance. Because of last week's attack by Kevin Owens, which uh, you got to say cost Paul Anderson the win in the main event against Dave Turner, the general manager, William Regal, has said that if Paul Anderson can beat Xander Slate here tonight in this Extreme Rules match, he will be entered into the World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania, making it a triple threat between him, Dave Turner, and Kevin Owens. If he can't win here tonight against Xander Slate, well, he better he better hope to get into that Money in the Bank match or something because he is not going to be competing for the world title. And Xander Slate bouncing back off his losing streak all of last month. That uh, series of battles he had with Kevin Owens has been on a little bit of a roll the past couple of weeks. Qualified for the Money in the Bank match, defeating Liam Eagles. <clears throat> Later on tonight, we're going to find out another participant in the Money in the Bank match as Jerome Robinson is going to take on Bison. And our main event tonight, guys, is a one-on-one -on -one match between our world heavyweight champion, Dave Turner, and the 2015 Royal Rumble winner, Kevin Owens. That's sure to be an awesome one. <clears throat> Can't wait for that. Those two uh, seem to have been on the last page last week. They worked together to take down Paul Anderson, like I said before. And they uh, don't seem to be enemies. They're more friends working. I don't know if they're friends. They're, they were working together, though. It was confirmed. They, they said they were working together to take out Paul Anderson out of the title picture. But Anderson's got one last chance here tonight, thanks to the general manager, William Regal, former world heavyweight champion Paul Anderson. Lost the title at Elimination Chamber. Had a shot to win it back against Dave Turner two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Awesome match. Dave Turner retained, of course. This is the first match, Trouble. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Xander Slate was involved in that triple threat match at the Royal Rumble where Paul Anderson actually won the World Heavyweight Championship from Dave Turner. Paul Anderson pinned Xander Slate. Turner was down, could not break it up in time. <laughs> Xander Slate going to be looking for some revenge for that, I'm sure. <laughs> Wouldn't mind taking it to Anderson tonight, costing him a match at World Heavy at, uh, WrestleMania. I was going to say costing him a match at World Heavyweight Championship. Costing him the match at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. Nice knee drop there by Anderson. <laughs> this is extreme rules. That was weird right there. <laughs> Sanders Slate does not get off a nice drop kick right to the knee. Last chance match for Paul Anderson. I'm honestly rooting for him after that cheap shot last week by Kevin Owens. I mean, like I said last week, I'm by no means a Paul Anderson fan. I, he, for one, doesn't play by the rules at all. But I don't condone Kevin Owens attacking him last week. He cost him that, that match against Dave Turner cost him the opportunity at Wrestlemania and William Regal saw that giving Anderson one last chance to get into that title match at Wrestlemania as he hits a nice crucifix here only a one count though as Anderson Slate manages to get out of it <coughs> see those combo atomic drops here by Slate now <laughs> who would love to not only Cost Paul Anderson a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, but also build up some momentum heading into Mania with a nice knee smash right to the face. Sanders Slate along with Aaron White and Scott Nori have qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Like I said later on tonight, it'll be Jerome Robinson against Bison to see who will take up the fourth spot as Paul Anderson hits that signature spine buster, hooks both the legs. Is that going to be it? Just a two count. <coughs> Gonna lock in a submission now as Anderson. Triangle choke around the head, wrenching back the arm. Will that be enough to tap out Xander Slate? As Anderson going to WrestleMania, looks like Slate's gonna hold in there though. This is extreme rules. We haven't really seen the extreme rules aspect come into play just yet. Both of these guys more intent on just a classic wrestling match, been pretty good so far. <coughs> Slate's gotta be careful though, there you go. Nice waist lock lariat there. There you go, Slate's going out, he heard me. 
<sighs> Just looking to get things extreme. Pump up the crowd. What's he going to pull out here? Metal bat. Oh, Paul Edison almost got in trouble there. But he reversed it. Throws down the bat. Xander Slate like capitalizes off the distraction. Hits a nice flapjack. Now we're going to see him rake in the back. What a heel move. Hashtag heel. Ooh, out of nowhere. The super kick by Paul Anderson. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Anderson out of nowhere with that super kick has secured his spot in the main event of WrestleMania. We now have our main event set, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Paul Anderson with that super kick out of nowhere. <clears throat> that super kick is just no good for Xander Slee. Every single time he gets hit with that out of nowhere, and he gets freaking pinned. <clears throat> Paul Anderson getting some revenge for that uh, attack by Kevin Owens last week, entering himself into the triple threat match, or the World Heavyweight Championship match, rather, at WrestleMania, making it a triple threat match. Paul Anderson got a chance to win back his title, but he's going to be going up against Dave Turner and Kevin Owens as well on the grandest stage of them all, guys. I can't wait for that one. And later on in our main event, we're going to see Dave Turner go one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Kevin Owens. <clears throat> going to be an awesome main event. Great opening match there. Congratulations to Paul Anderson, Xander Slate, continuing on his losing ways. Going to start up his losing streak again. Hopefully he wins money in the bank. I'm rooting for him. That super kick was badass. And now, guys, our second match of the evening, a Money in the Bank qualifying match. It's going to be Jerome Robinson going one-on-one -on -one with Bison the Barbarian to see who can fill up that fourth spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania. Like I said, we've got Xander Slate, Aaron White, and Scott Norrie entered into the match already. We've got three spots left to fill. Going to fill one right here right now. <laughs> Jerome Robinson competed for the first time in a little while last week on main event in a six-man tag team match. As Bison hits the first powerbomb of the match, remember, his record is eight. Mark one up, keep it in your head. Bison was in action last week on Monday Night Raw. Fought the debuting Omega Z. Dominated the newcomer. Put him in his place. Omega Z put on a, little, a, a good show. Tried to stay in there, but Bison the Barbarian shot him down. <clears throat> not a great debut match for a newcomer against Bison. General Manager William Regal not taking it easy on Omega Z as Bison hits the second power bomb there on Mr. Jerome Robinson. And there's going to be a third one. Jerome Robinson is actually the man who, uh, <clears throat> in season one, received the eight power bomb record at the hands of Bison. If you remember that. <clears throat> Jerome Robinson. Bison and Chad Vegas had themselves a little bit of a triple threat feud in season one event of Community Universe Mode during NXT. Had some hardcore battles, awesome matches. We're going to see them go one on one here tonight. A spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match on the line. Jerome hits a nice German suplex. Bison is on three power bombs, guys. Let's see if he can break his record here tonight. Jerome's going to have something to say about that, though. Hits a nice spine buster on the big man. And another spine buster by Robinson. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's Jerome with a nice power bomb of his own. <coughs> Showing Bison how to do it. Bison gonna have something to say about that, I'm sure. Yet retaliates with a power bomb of his own. We're halfway there. That's power bomb number four, guys. And here comes number five. Will he break his record here tonight of eight power bombs? Just three left to go. <laughs> oh, guys, powerbomb number six. Two more, and he's going to break his own record of eight, or at least tie it. Nice big kick, though. Big boot right to the chest of Jerome there, shooting down the comeback. Now he's looking for that chicken wing gut buster, but looks like Jerome managed to reverse it. That spells bad news for Mr. Bison. Nice knee to the midsection there. And another spine buster. Jerome looking to start up a record of his own of spine busters. Bison getting right back to his feet. Oh, look at that, guys. Powerbomb number seven. Oh, no, no, no. Jerome Robinson reverses it. That was a really cool reversal. I haven't seen that before. Jerome Robinson out of nowhere with that freaking uh, yardage side slam. One, two, just a two count. 
Feisty manages to get out of it, guys. He's in trouble right now, though. He's got to get back into this. He's got to be careful. Spear out of nowhere by Robinson. Will that be enough to put away the big man? Go for a big splash to finish it. Hooks the leg, guys. One, just a one count. Bison not going down without a fight. What a match. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I thought Jerome had it off that urinage slam. <clears throat> the big man, Bison, sticking in it, though. His powerbomb count is at six. That seventh one got reversed by Mr. Robinson. Going for that knee to the midsection, followed by a discus lariat taking down Robinson. Money in the Bank qualifying match here on Monday Night Raw. Great match thus far. Nasty spine buster right down off the outside by Bison. I <laughs> can't feel too good. That spear by Robinson. I thought that was going to put away Bison. Especially following up with the big splash. Both men back in the ring though. It's kind of five I think that was. Nice close line by Jerome. Going for a pin. One. Just a one count though. Bison manages to get out of it. Stick it in it. <laughs> he wants his WrestleMania moment, guys. But Jerome going for that Omega Driver right down onto the top of the head. Will that be enough to put away Bison? Going to crawl into the pin. One, two, three. Oh, no. Bison at the very last second kicks out. That split second that Jerome took to regain some uh, momentum, put some gas back into the tank. Might have cost him there. Jerome is freaking twist turned upside, upside down. A little shout out to Fresh Prince right there. Nasty big boot takes down Jerome. And now Bison looking to capitalize, gonna hit his chicken wing gut buster. He's gonna follow it up with that F5, or no, he's gonna go for the pin. One, two, oh, close two count here. <sighs> Jerome gonna look to hit that accolade, or possibly the F5 now. He's stalking Jerome. Can he hit it? Oh, what's he going for here? Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Guys, power bomb number seven. He is one away from tying his record. But I think he might just want to go for the win right now. Going to go for the pin off that powerbomb. You know what's more important than uh, breaking your own powerbomb record? Going to WrestleMania. Being in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Nice sit-out spine buster by Bison. This match is very back and forth. So many close calls. Guys, powerbomb number eight. Bison has tied his record one more. He needs one more powerbomb to break his own personal record. Going to go for a pin off that eighth one there, though. Only a two count for Jerome, guys. Come on, Bison, one more. <clears throat> Give us one more powerbomb. Going to go for a German suplex. What's he going for here? I know he was going for a second chicken wing gut buster. I think Bison was, but Jerome managed to reverse it. Spine Buster. Robinson was going for that urinage slam again. Bison managed to deflect it though, going for a pin off that Spine Buster. And it gets him the three count, guys. Bison is going to WrestleMania. He's going to be in that Money in the Bank ladder match. He did not break his own record, guys, but he tied it. He tied his record of eight power bombs this close to breaking it. <laughs> and I'm the same guy that he uh, got the record on too. Jerome Robinson, he ties the record on the same guy he actually made the record with. I thought this was going to be it right here, but that split second Jerome took to regain some momentum cost him the match as Bison kicked out at the very last second and then off that nasty spine buster, Bison picks up the three count. He's going to WrestleMania, guys. He's going into that Money in the Bank ladder match alongside Xander Slate, Aaron White, and Scott Norrie. Got that opportunity to pull down the briefcase and get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship whenever he so chooses to cash it in for up to a year. Up until next year's WrestleMania, guys. Congratulations to Bison. Awesome back and forth match that was right there. <laughs> Glad Bison won. One of my favorite superstars here. Congrats to Bison as we move on to match number three of the evening which is going to be Marco Punish going one-on-one -on -one with the former Intercontinental Champion, Sunshine. <coughs> and guys, it was made official over this past week. Sunshine has cashed in his rematch clause for the Intercontinental Championship, and that match will take place at WrestleMania. Sunshine going to take on Chad Vegas for the Intercontinental Championship on the grandest stage of them all. 
That should be a great one. <clears throat> Last week, Chad Vegas picked up the win in that submission match between him and Sunshine, tapping uh, the former Intercontinental Champion out with that cross face after a brutal back-and-forth match. Sunshine almost had Vegas off that uh, <clears throat> sleeper. Vegas managed to get out of it. The oh, no. Kevin Payne attacking Marco Punish from behind, guys. During his entrance, and now he's setting him up for Sunshine to, to take advantage. Here we go. Marco Punish is in trouble here, guys. Seems that things are not done between Kevin Payne and Marco Punish as Sunshine's looking to hit Crunchy on the big man right down to the neck, hooking both legs for the pin. Oh, close to Cal. Marco sticks in it, though. Still got a chance here, but Sunshine's got a firm advantage in this match. Call breaker out of nowhere. And that's got to spell the end for Marco Punish. Get Sunshine the three count. Quick on the draw in that match. Sunshine picks up the win over the big man. Marco Punish all because of a pre-match attack by Kevin Payne. <clears throat> Getting some revenge for those mind games that Marco Punish played on Kevin Payne during Payne's match last week against Brad Barnett, if you recall. And look at this. Kevin Payne coming back out to taunt Marco Punish. Punish saying you want some, can get some. I think any match brewing here, guys. Things are getting out of control between the two former members of the Faces of Fear. And uh, <laughs> I think it might all come to a close at WrestleMania. These two need to go at it at least one more time. Last week it was the mind games with Marco Punish. This week, Kevin Payne with the pre-match attack, costing Marco Punish the win. <clears throat> And your eyes are not deceiving you guys. Sunshine is apparently pulling double duty here tonight. And he's going to be teaming with Chad Vegas to take on the team of Scott Nori and Hayden Blade Kitely. What a tag team match here set up by General Manager William Regal. I guess Sunshine might have complained backstage in between his matches saying, I, I, want, a, I want a real match. You know, I want to show, I want to go out there and I want to put on a match. He picked up that victory pretty quick over Marco Bunish. All because of that pre-match attack by Kevin Payne. <clears throat> So now we're going to have the Intercontinental Championship match at WrestleMania. Chad Vegas is going to team with Sunshine to take on one of the Money in the Bank participants, Scott Norrie, and the man that he actually beat last week to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match, Hayden. That's an interesting tag team right there. Going to be, uh, going to be interesting to see what happens here. And Chad Vegas and Scott Norrie are arguing. What's, What's this all here? about? It looks like there's a little Why are they arguing? They're not, they're not a tag team. <laughs> I think we might have just experienced a glitch, guys. I think it might have, it was supposed to be Sunshine in the place of Scott Nori. The universe might have just uh, had a little bit of a spaz moment. Just pretend that Sunshine was in the place of Scott Nori in that cutscene. We saw a little bit of an argument there between them as to who was going to start the match. Chad Vegas starting off against Scott Nori. Two men who know each other very well have gone at it a couple times the past couple of weeks. Actually, it was Chad Vegas who went one-on-one -on -one with Scott Nori a couple weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, and that's where Sunshine turned heel, actually attacking Vegas during his entrance, and then attacked both Chad Vegas and Scott Nori post-match. After the match was finished, Scott Nori picked up the win. <laughs> Scott Nori is on a bit of a, what the hell is Universe doing, dude? All right, Sunshine has walked away from the tag team match, guys. That's Sunshine to pretend, because Universe is having a spaz moment here. So Sunshine has what? Okay, what the fuck is going on, dude? This is essentially turned into a handicap match. Okay. Uh, all right. Sunshine is. I'm just like baffled here. Universe is having a real D to D moment, guys. So Sunshine walked out on the match, guys. Sunshine's gone. He has left Chad Vegas high and dry, and now we have a handicap match on our hands. As Scott Norrie tags out to Hayden, Chad Vegas all by him lonesome now. Or his lonesome, rather. Got to take on Hayden and Nori all by himself. I mean, what did you expect? Scott Nori, or uh, rather, Chad Vegas, is arch, arch enemies. <clears throat> yeah, you can update him. I, I, I won't uh, use his new attire, though, until after WrestleMania, just because I don't want to mess anything up. But, yeah, if you upload him, I'll make sure to download him after WrestleMania is all finished. <clears throat> As I was saying, guys, Chad Vegas, I mean, what did you expect? Sunshine turning heel. And uh, did you really expect those two to work together? They have been going at it the past couple of weeks. They've got a big title match at WrestleMania now. 
And as announced earlier on the show, as Chad Vegas is trying to fight back, but Hayden's there to greet him at every corner, going for the pin off that single knee backbreaker. Oh, gets him a close two count. Vegas hangs in there, though, showing why he's the Intercontinental Champion. Derp Universe indeed, as Hayden hits a nice powerbomb, bridging over for the pin. Oh, another close two count. Chad Vegas not going down without a fight, guys, and Scott Norris is having a DQD moment himself. <sighs> so, before the match started, Chad Vegas and Sunshine were arguing a little bit as to who was gonna start the match. Chad Vegas told Sunshine, you get out, I'm starting this match, and then, as Chad Vegas was going for a pin, Sunshine jumped off the ring apron, walked up the uh, ramp, leaving his partner high and dry here tonight. As Chad Vegas is fighting back, looking for a nice power bomb on Hayden Blade Kitely, dragging him off to the middle of the ring now. Chad Vegas showing us what he's worth, heading into WrestleMania to defend his Intercontinental title against the man that just left him high and dry here tonight. Hayden looking for a tag, gets a nice spine buster though instead. Nasty one, Hayden going to go for the pin off of that. Oh, another close two count. God, how is Vegas staying in this, guys? Handicap match situation here. Nice single leg drop kick though. You can do it, Chad. We believe in you. Ah, uh, Enzo Lariat <clears throat> right to the back of the head by Mr. Kitely. Who's working surprisingly well with one of his arch nemesis. <laughs> Scott Norrie here tonight, the man who beat him <clears throat> in a Money in the Bank qualifying match last week. We're going to see some tag team move action here. Assist, body splash on the top rope, cross body rather, not body splash. Going for the pin, will that be enough to put away the Intercontinental Champion? Yes, it will, guys. Chad Vegas, he hung, he hung in there as long as he could. you got to give him props, a two-on-one situation like this. He was getting met at every corner by Hayden and Norrie. Finally, that aided crossbody from the top rope will be enough to put him down. Hayden and Scott Norrie working surprisingly well together here tonight, though. There was that pin right there off that cross, that aided crossbody from the top rope. Nice tag team move by Norrie and Hayden. You know, the, after the battles that these guys have been through, you know they gotta respect each other, even if they don't like each other. And there's a nice handshake. These guys worked very well together, guys. Norris going to WrestleMania. He's going to be in that Money in the Bank ladder match. We don't know what's in store for Hayden. But tonight they worked well together and they picked up the win in a handicap match against Chad Vegas as Sunshine left his partner. Congratulations to Hayden and Scott Nori. Awesome finish there. Great tag team move. <clears throat> now, guys, we are on our main event of the evening. It's going to be Dave Turner taking on Kevin Owens, World Heavyweight Champion against 2015 Royal Rumble winner. And earlier in our opening match of the evening, we learned that Paul Anderson will be joining these two at WrestleMania to make it a triple threat match for the world title. Dave Turner versus Kevin Owens versus Paul Anderson. Anderson winning that last chance match against Sanders Slate. William Regal giving him one last chance to, to get into that main event of WrestleMania to try to win his world title back, and he managed to pick up the win. So now tonight we're going to see Dave Turner go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens, the match that was supposed to be at WrestleMania, just a clean singles match between the champ and the Royal Rumble winner. But we're going to see it right here tonight as we're going to start off with a nice lockup. These two worked together last week to actually attack Paul Anderson. Kevin Owens coming down during Anderson's entrance and attacking him from behind, tossing him into the ring, feeding him to the wolves, you could say. And uh, Dave Turner took advantage. Paul Anderson fought back. It was a pretty awesome match back and forth. But eventually Dave Turner would pick, off the win, pick up the win rather off that psycho driver. And then Kevin Owens would come out post-match clapping and signaling for that world title around his waist, telling Dave Turner, your time is limited. You know, we work together tonight, but come WrestleMania, it's every man for themselves. <clears throat> Kevin Owens has been on a little bit of a tear lately. We haven't seen him compete in a couple of weeks, but... Uh, all last month, he beat Xander Slade five weeks straight. Xander Slade uh, just could not pick up a win over Kevin Owens. Seeing him for the first time in action a couple weeks here tonight against the world champion. And a couple nice power bombs on Turner. Turner winning back his World Heavyweight Championship at Elimination Chamber. He lost to that Royal Rumble, of course. Managed to stick it through in the Chamber match. Entered number six, won that Battle Royal, remember, to get that last spot. And, uh, 
It gave him the advantage clearly as he walked out the World Heavyweight Champion, two-time champion now. As he hits a nice belly to belly to Owens. <clears throat> And guys, I just received word from backstage from General Manager William Regal that at WrestleMania, we are going to have a fatal four-way number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship. How awesome is that? We don't know exactly who's involved in it yet as Dave Turner's going to lock in a surfboard stretch on the 2015 Royal Rumble winner, Kevin Owens. He's hanging in there. No, not going to give up that easily. It's been documented the resilience of Mr. Owens ever since he won the Royal Rumble match. was actually on a bit of a losing streak leading up to the Royal Rumble. But then uh, entered in number 20, got the last spot in the Rumble match, and he won it all. Got his chance to main event WrestleMania, and then he's been on a little bit of a winning streak lately. We'll see if it ends here tonight against Dave Turner, World Champion versus Royal Rumble winner. Our WrestleMania main event is set, guys. It's going to be a triple threat match for the world title. These two guys alongside... Paul Anderson as Dave Turner hits a nice moonsault from the second turnbuckle there. The Trap's trying to set him up for that superplex signature of his, but Kevin Owens manages to reverse it. Botches on the punch there, though. Going for another power bomb. How about that fatal four-way number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship just announced by General Manager William Regal. We are getting a nice card set up for WrestleMania, guys. Awesome matches so far on the card. We don't know who is in that Fatal 4-Way match just yet. Hopefully we, may, we might find out on a main event or next week. I will be recording the next episode, guys, tomorrow, the last week leading up to WrestleMania. And then WrestleMania I will be recording on Sunday, guys. So this Sunday, 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 it's going to be WrestleMania. Liam Eagles has not competed yet, my friend. Going for a pin off that reversal. Driving Dave Turner's face right down into the mat. Back and forth main event here tonight against the 2015 Royal Rumble winner Kevin Owens and our World Heavyweight Champ Dave Turner. Another reversal by Owens. Dave Turner likes to call himself the technical prodigy. The future of this business, but uh, he's got a pretty big roadblock in his way right now and at WrestleMania in the form of Kevin Owens and Paul Anderson. He's got his work cut out for him. And the last triple threat match, guys, remember, was at Royal Rumble, and Dave Turner lost his championship in that match, and he wasn't even involved in the decision. Paul Anderson actually got the pit on Xander Sleet to win the World Heavyweight Championship, so Dave Turner doesn't have the best track record in triple threat matches, but he is our World Heavyweight Champion. And he's going into WrestleMania that way. Going to take on Dave Turner, or going to take on uh, Kevin Owens and Paul Anderson in the main event of the grandest stage of them all. But right now, awesome main event between these two guys. Targeting the arm is Turner. Where's he going? Back it up into the corner. What the heck is Dave Turner looking for? He's stalking Kevin Owens. Super kick out of nowhere by ripping a page out of Paul Anderson's book. Did he play mind games with Anderson? Going for the pin. One, two, three. Oh, God. Owens sticks in it, though. Gets out of that brutal super kick. I don't know if Dave Turner's trying to play mind games with Mr. Paul Anderson or what. Hits that signature suplex that uh, Paul Anderson likes to use as a finisher. Almost took down Owens, but he sticks in it. That heart, that resilience that we know Kevin Owens has, he's not going to give up that easily. <clears throat> He wants to pick up some momentum here tonight. Heading into his WrestleMania match. The world title is going to be on the line. Uh, he's got him on that second turnbuckle. We've seen this before, guys. That backbreaker from the second turnbuckle. Brutal. Dave Turner hops right back up, though. He's going to look for his comeback if he can get him in the corner. Kevin Owens reverses the throw. Nice tilt to whirl. Backbreaker right down onto the knee. <clears throat> Kevin Owens putting Turner right back into the corner. Possibly, I don't know, what's he going for here? Guys, he's going for it again. He's not satisfied with just one. He's going to follow it up with a second one. Right down onto the back again. Targeting that spine of Dave Turner. Brutal move. 
Turner gets out of it though. Reverses, slams Owens' face right down into the mat. I gotta imagine that he's lost his comeback at this point. Going to the top rope, will he get there in time though? Owens is getting back up. Uh, this might cost Dave Turner. On the top rope, he's going for that DDT. That spike Hangman's DDT off the top rope. And that could be enough to put away the World Heavyweight Championship signature move by Mr. Owens. One, two, four, oh no! That was so close right there, guys. I thought that was gonna be it off that spike DDT from the top rope. Tilt World side slam by our World Heavyweight Champion though. What a match here tonight. Five star main event between these two. <clears throat> if this is any telltale of what WrestleMania is gonna be like, with the addition of Paul Anderson, I'm looking forward to it. Kevin Owens goes shoulder first right into the turnbuckle. Now getting choked out by Turner. Both men showing heart, showing resilience here. Kicking out of some big moves. Dave Turner still targeting that arm though. What's he setting him up for? Going for a pin is Turner. One, two, gets a two count though. Owens not going down that easily, especially off a freaking simple arm move. <laughs> Another reversal by Owens. Owens likes to call himself the future. And he's setting Dave Turner up for that package power driver. Hooking both arms, guys. Lifting him up. Right down onto the head. And look at it. Jesus freaking ripping down the bottom rope. And that's going to be a rope break. Oh, no, it's not. Guys, Kevin Owens just picked up, pick up the win over the World Heavyweight Champion, Dave Turner. Off that brutal package pile driver. And freaking Turner ripped down the bottom rope. I think that might have been a rope break. I don't know if that was the correct call by the referee there. I guess his line of sight was kind of blurred. He was on the other side. That super kick right there I thought was going to be able to end it. I thought that was going to be it for Kevin Owens. That little shout out there by Dave Turner sending a message to Paul Anderson, at least that's what I think. But Kevin Owens will finish things off. Stocks Dave Turner, hits that finishing package pile driver. His, look at that, freaking ripping down the bottom rope. Look at that, his, I think his bottom rope, I think, I, rather I think his hand was underneath the bottom rope there. The referee's line of sight I guess was blurred, and look at this guys. Shaking hands, Kevin Owens and Dave Turner showing great sportsmanship to one another. <clears throat> These guys are friends, they're not enemies. And what a match they just put on, guys. Five stars right there. What a main event to end Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> and both men showing respect to one another, shaking hands. Kevin Owens picks up the win over the World Heavyweight Championship, continuing um, his uh, streak leading up to Mania. Dave Turner taking a hard loss there, but... Showed great sportsmanship, and now we're on the road to WrestleMania, guys, just one week away. Or rather, we got main event, and then we're one week away. Going to be an awesome triple threat match. Can't wait for that. Skip on to main event. We got some news alerts, though. <clears throat> We've got Kevin Payne attacked Marco Punish before their match. Indeed, he did. Really cost Marco Punish the win. Punish didn't even get a shot in. Uh, <clears throat> Marco didn't even get a shot in on Sunshine. Sunshine freaking uh, took advantage of that pre-match attack by Payne. Managed to pick up the win. Then we got Chad Vegas and Sunshine were unable to cooperate in their scheduled tag team match as their egos clashed over their last title match. <clears throat> egos clashed indeed. Universe kind of glitched out. But Sunshine left Chad Vegas high and dry. Hopped off the ring apron as Vegas was going for a tag. Left uh, Chad Vegas to fend for himself in a two-on-one situation. And then, uh, well, Scott and Noreen Hayden would take advantage, really just dominating Vegas all throughout the match. Managed to pick up the win. Then we got champion Dave Turner and Kevin Owens continue to show each other high respects despite the high stakes of their final title match. Definitely high stakes on the line, especially now for Dave Turner. He was just beat one-on-one -on -one by Kevin Owens. I mean, if that WrestleMania match that we were supposed to get just a one-on-one -on -one match were going to happen, I mean, we just saw what would have happened. Kevin Owens beat Dave Turner one-on-one, -on -one, but at WrestleMania on the grandest stage of them all, it's going to be a triple threat match, guys. Paul Anderson going to be thrown into the mix as now we are at main event. <clears throat> And ba 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 ba. Let's see. Let's have. Let's 
Let's have a one on one match. Oh, not extreme rules. Don't get excited. <clears throat> Let's have. B -b 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 So have Omega Z get his second match in here on main event. We'll have him go up against. Uh, Let's have him face Diablo alongside Angelico in his corner. They they're looking to build up some momentum heading into their WWE Tag Team Championship match at WrestleMania. Remember, they're going to be defending against the Nice Guys. <clears throat> they picked up the win in that six-man tag team match last week. Let's see if they can uh, pick up a little bit more momentum. <clears throat> For our second match of the evening. We're going to have... Let's have another one-on-one -on -one match. Between... Uh... Let's have the nice guys in action. If Holy Hell's going to be in action, we'll have Flynn Reese be in singles competition. Booker Phillips in his corner. We'll have Flynn Reese take on. Oh, uh, no. Nah. We'll have him fight. Thomas Solden, we haven't seen him in a little while. Let's put him on the card. Nice Guy is going to also be looking to pick up some momentum. Looking to win back their championships that they lost at Elimination Chamber to Holy Hell. <coughs> Issuing their rematch clause. Going to take place at Mania. Sure to be a great one. They put on an awesome tag team match at Elimination Chamber. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then our main event, guys. I'm thinking our final Money in the Bank qualifying match. <coughs> Bear with me. i got to look through the... I'm, I'm, I'm running through because I don't have main event planned out. I probably should. But I'm thinking we'll have a last chance match between guys who have been in Money in the Bank qualifiers over the past couple of weeks. Maybe a tag team match. I'm thinking we'll have... Because everybody that can qualify really already has. I've had everybody on the roster that can qualify already go at it. So I think we're going to have... Mr. Hayden Blade Kitely team up with maybe Brad Barnett, but let me look for a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking Brad Barnett. Yeah, Brad Barnett. And they're going to go up against two guys who know each other very well. Liam Eagles and Mr. Ace Stevens. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to be our main event. Last Money in the Bank qualifying match, a tag team match to fill up the last two spots. Whichever team wins will fill up. We'll uh, get those last two spots in the Money in the Bank ladder match, a last chance match between uh, former losers and other qualifying matches. So in our opening contest here on Main Event, Omega looking to pick up his first win here in Community Universe mode. He debuted uh, last week on Monday Night Raw in a losing effort to Bison. Let's see if he can pick up a win over one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in Diablo. There you go, Omega Z. Bursted onto the scene, although he took that loss against Bison on Raw. He bounces back with a win over the tag team champ, Diablo, Angelico in his corner. That doesn't give a whole lot of, puts down the momentum for Holy Hell, but gives some great momentum for Omega. So now let's see if the one half of the nice guys, Flynn Reese, can pick up some momentum for his tag team. Going one-on-one -on -one with Thomas Sullivan, and there's Sullivan taking down Flynn Reese. So both of the tag teams that are going to be involved in the WWE tag team title match at WrestleMania. Take a loss here tonight as Flynn Reese loses to Sullivan. Great win for Sullivan. And our main event, guys, the last Money in the Bank qualifying match. The tag team that picks up the win here will get the final two spots, and they will join the likes of Xander Slate, Aaron White, Scott Norrie, and Bison. Last chance match for these two tag teams here. Only two of them can head on to WrestleMania to compete in the six-man Money in the Bank ladder match, get their opportunity to 
pull down the briefcase and get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship whenever they so choose to cash it in for up to a year until next year's WrestleMania. Hayden and Brad Barnett against Liam Eagles and Ace Stevens. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see how Liam Eagles and Ace Stevens work together as those two have had a little bit of a rivalry over the past couple of months. It was Liam Eagles who eliminated Ace Stevens in that six-man money in the or six-man money in the bank ladder match, six-man battle royal match to qualify for the elimination chamber match. And then uh, the following week on Monday Night Raw, Ace Stevens actually beat Liam Eagles in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Hayden and Brad Barnett have never been in a tag team, I believe. They never even faced each other, except for a fatal four-way match maybe one time. <clears throat> other than that. They have never really been in the same ring together, so let's see how they work together. Uh, the stream tomorrow will probably be around the same time, maybe a little bit earlier. It's either going to be around the same time right now or around 4 o'clock. That's usually when I record around 3 or 4. It's only really late tonight because I was out doing stuff. That's why it's so late tonight. Probably 4 o'clock tomorrow. Same for WrestleMania. It'll probably be 4 o'clock on Sunday. So make sure you guys join me on Twitch. If you're not following me already, make sure you do so you know when I go live. You don't want to miss WrestleMania. Want to watch it live with everybody. As Liam Eagles tags out to Ace Stevens. Stevens going to lock in a camel clutch. It's going to be an automatic rope break there, though. Money in the Bank qualifier here, guys. Tag team match. The team that wins will get the last two spots in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Brad Barnett and Hayden versus Ace Stevens and Liam Eagles. Nasty headbutt. Uh, excuse me. WrestleMania shaping up to be a really awesome pay-per-view, guys. I can't wait for it. I hope you're pumped. <coughs> Tomorrow I'm filming that. Last week leading up to Mania. Sunday is WrestleMania. Perfect timing. Get the actual pay-per-view on a pay-per-view day. Going to be a big one. Money in the Bank, Triple Threat, Main Event, Fatal 4-Way, Number 1 Contenders Match, IC Title Match, Tag Team Title Match. I can't wait for it. It's going to be a great one, guys. This could be big. As Hayden comes in off the tag, as does Liam Eagles. These two were involved in the World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber match at Chamber, at the Elimination Chamber. Obviously, they didn't come out with the win. Liam Eagles actually was out at number two off a uh, submission lock by Aaron White. There's Hayden with a nice single leg, single knee rather, backbreaker, tags in Brad Barnett, coming in off the tag, William Eagles in some trouble here. Barnett was involved in that Intercontinental Championship Elimination Chamber match. He was actually first, first or second, I'm pretty sure he was second out. And he actually entered in number six. This was surprising, shocked a lot of people. William Eagles hits a nice jawbreaker from the top rope there, rope hanging jawbreaker. Now going for a nice jumping elbow drop on Barnett. Hey, Stevens asks for the tag. Frequent tags keeping these guys fresh. Working well together thus far. Not seeing any friction. Money in the bank qualifier here. Who's going to fill up those final two spots? Join Xander Slate, Aaron White, Scott Norrie, and Bison. Will it be A. Stevens, Liam Eagles, or will it be Brad Barnett and Hayden as Hayden gets tagged in? And I forgot to freaking join this match, so I hope this tag team match doesn't go on too long. You guys got to remind me forgot to join in as a spectator. So let's just hope this doesn't go on for five hours. A. Stevens Dragon Hayden in the middle of the ring. What's he looking for? Butterfly suplex on Mr. Blade Kylie. There's that awesome move that I love. Still don't know what it's called. Too lazy to go into A. Stevens' move set and check it out. One of these days. <coughs> It's like a urinage, kind of tornado, freaking urinage side slam. Awesome move. <clears throat> Liam Eagles in off the tag, now hits a nice running neck breaker. Ace Stevens asking for the tag again. This team is working well together. Surprising me. Frequent tags, keeping them both fresh. Hayden's been in the match for a little while now. Got to get a tag out to Brad Barnett. Oh, Liam Eagles doesn't want to get a tag team move, apparently. <laughs> Hops off the apron. Going for a power bomb is Hayden. But Ace Stevens reverses into a nice DDT. Hanging Hayden's feet up on that second rope. 
There's those physics coming into play, those physics that I love. Looks like Ace is trying to go for a tag out. There he goes. And there's Hayden finally getting the tag out. He's been taking some damage. Liam Eagles and Ace Stevens working really well together. Grab our neck going for those body shots. Going to look to finish it off with an uppercut. Shooting down Liam Eagles. I hope not. I hope not trouble. Let's hope that isn't a 45-minute tag. <clears throat> oh God! Nice lie detector there by Liam Eagles with Brad Barnett up right away, looking for his comeback. Gets that kick to the midsection. Nice single leg. Another single leg. Gonna look to finish it off with that twisting neck breaker. Gets it off, guys. Hitting that comeback for his signature now. That stomping kick of his. Eagles is in trouble, guys. He's got to be careful here. Brad Barnett's on a little bit of a tear. Going to go for the pin off of it. Will he get it? One, two, Ace Stevens saving, him, saving his team from the loss here tonight. This isn't just an average tag team match, guys. This one is a Money in the Bank qualifier. Ace Stevens does not want to lose this because of Liam Eagles. And vice versa, Eagles wouldn't want to lose this because of Ace Stevens. They got to work together. And here we go, hot tag. Liam Eagles tags out. Ace Stevens comes in, looking hot. Takes down Brad Barnett. Sends Hayden off the apron, down to the outside. He's got to take advantage here. Going for a power bomb, but it looks like Brad Burnett might reverse it into a nice DDT of his own. And guys, Brad Burnett's stalking Ace Stevens. He's looking for that single leg knee to the head. Is he going to be able to get it? Oh, he hits it off. He's going to try to go for the pin. One, two, three. Oh, no. That was a really close call there, guys. I thought that was going to be it. Liam Eagles wasn't coming to break it up. I was thinking, like, what the hell? The computer's not coming in to break it up. That's a change of pace. <clears throat> but maybe Liam just knew that Ace Stevens was going to get out of it. He had, he had faith in his tag team partner. And now Ace Stevens looking to hit that sit-out suplex slam. Gets it off on Mr. Barnett. Awesome tag team match here on the main event of main event. Going to go for the pin. One, two. Hayden came in to break it up, but he didn't need to. Brad Burnett got out of close count of two. Oh, and Ace Stevens was going for that big boot to the chest of his. But Brad Barnett stepped out of the way, guys. Brad Barnett is put on a show in this match. He is on a tear. And he's going to that corner, guys. He's looking for the single leg high knee again. Can he get it? Can he get it? Ace Stevens in trouble. Oh, no. Ace Stevens moves out of the way. Finisher reversals galore here, guys. <laughs> oh, no. That big boot by Ace Stevens. One. Two, ah! Oh. Hayden saves the team. He knew that Brad Burnett was not going to kick out of that. He's not going to let Brad Burnett cost him his WrestleMania opportunity here tonight. Saves his team from sure destruction there. That nasty big boot off the uh, high knee reversal. <clears throat> Both tag teams working pretty well here tonight. I'm, I'm really surprised that Ace and, and Liam Eagles. Ace Stevens got to get out of the ring though. He's been in there a while. Took that up. Uh, Took that single leg high and knee. He's got to be uh, feeling the effects of that. And there's Hayden targeting the head. And Zulariot. Ace Stevens looking for his comeback. Got to get him in the corner, though. Look at that size difference between Ace Stevens and Hayden. Can he hit that comeback? He's looking for it. Looking for that East Coast comeback. Get those knees to the face. <coughs> Look for that missile drop kick from the second rope. But Hayden deflects it. It's not going to let him get that comeback. Money in the bank qualifier. Hayden looking for that power bomb, bridging over, going for the pin. Lee Eagles coming in to break it up. Doesn't need to though, as A. Stevens gets out of it, kind of two. Awesome tag team match here tonight. Only one of these teams can get into that Money in the Bank match. Who's it gonna be? So back and forth, finisher reversals, finisher hits. As it's now Hayden who's looking for his comeback. He's got that those forearms to the face. Close line, looking to finish it off with that mat slump. Okay, there's kind of a glitch there. Oh, I don't know what's going on. A. Stevens apparently going to the top rope, but Hayden knocks him off the ring apron. The comeback got glitched there. Hayden did not get it off. And A. Stevens, as I like to say, is in the bad, the wrong part of town right now. But Brad Barnett throws him right back in. And Liam Eagles was coming over to, <laughs> to help out, but he didn't need to. <clears throat> Hayden has Ace in the corner, but he gets out of it with a nice boot to the face. Exactly, tagging Eagles, Ace. 
Oh, he looks like he might have been going for a finisher there, or a signature perhaps. But uh, Hayden reverses it, or rather gets out of the way before he can hit it. Hits that nice Enzu Lariat to the back of the head, going for the pin. It's, Eagles breaks it up at the count of one, though. Ace Stevens has got to get out of here. He has taken some heavy damage. Eagles is fresh. He's been out for a while. He can just get the tag, the tag out. Uh, but now we're going to see a tag team move here by Hayden and Brad Barnett. What are they looking for here? Hayden catapulting Stevens. Brad Barnett with a Samoan drop. Awesome tag team move there. Going for the pin. One. Or the ref, no, not even a one. The referee took his time there going for the pin. Let Eagles come in and break it up. That might have been it if uh, Eagles didn't come in to say. Brad Burnett might have been going for a signature there, but A. Stevens reverses it. Tag out already, dude. Going for that signature sit out suplex slam, though. That's the second one on Barnett there. That might be enough to put away Mr. Barnett. The referee's taking his time getting all these pins, dude. Lollygagging. <sighs> Looks like Ace might have been uh, sizing Barnett up for that big boot, but Barnett got up too soon. Oh, nasty boot right to the face. Brad Barnett saying that's how you do a big boot. Ace Stevens, I'll show you how it's done. Tag out, Ace. Come on. You're going to end up costing your team the win here. Looks like he going for that big boot again. Barnett deflects it. Barnett's been in for a little bit too. He's got a tag out. There you go. Tags in Hayden. <clears throat> this team working really well together. That catapult Samoan drop was awesome. Oh, spear off the turnbuckle. A. Stevens not done with uh, Brad Burnett, apparently. He's on a little bit of a tear. He's really not done with him. Exiting the ring. Coming back in, though. Oh, and he's bleeding. A. Stevens is bleeding. I don't know what he got busted open from. Maybe from that uh, front kick. And A. Stevens putting him on the ropes. And look at this. Hayden. Locking into the sharpshooter, guys. Is this going to Will Ace Stevens tap? Liam Eagles saves it, though. Brad Barnett was trying to deflect Liam Eagles, but he didn't get there in time. Ace Stevens did not tap out. And, guys, Hayden's looking for consequence. That finishing move of his driving the neck right down onto the shoulder. Brutal move. Will that be enough to put away Stevens? Ref. God, man. Freaking lollygagging. Picking his goddamn time getting into the freaking pins. Barnett, you got to tag out, dude. Jeez. I'm sorry if it's lagging, guys, if it's messing up. It says it's lagging up in the corner. I hope it's not too bad. Ace hey, Stevens. Stocking Hayden for that big boot to the chest. Can he get it? Can he get it? Right down out of the chest. Hayden in serious trouble, but there's Brad Barnett. Going to be able to break it up at the count of one. Money in the bank qualifier, guys. What match this has been. So many finishers. I think every single guy in this match has had a finisher hit on him. Except maybe Liam Eagles because he hasn't been in the match in like freaking 18 minutes. Ace Stevens just refuses to tag in. They were working together. They were working good together early in the beginning of this match. But now Stevens just refuses to tag out. Liam Eagles, I'm sure, going to be pissed about, about that if he loses this match. <clears throat> What's Steven setting Hayden up for here? He's got him on the ropes. He's looking for that springboard cutter. And Hayden is in trouble, guys. If he can get into the pin, but his gas tank's on empty. He's on a knee. He's trying to regain some momentum, and that's going to cost him the win right there. And a hot tag, guys. In comes Barnett. Takes down Ace. Knocks Aaron, or Liam Eagles rather off the ring apron. He's got to take advantage here. Some nasty shots. Go for the pin, Barnett. Go for the pin. He's going for it. One, two, three. Oh, no, not a three, guys. What a close two count. How is Ace Stevens still in this match, guy? He's had like eight finishers done on him already. That blood dripping down Stevens' head as Barnett's looking for that stomping kick again. Gonna go for the pin. And the ref freaking, what an asshat this ref is, dude. If A. Stevens has any hope of winning this freaking match and going on to WrestleMania, he's got to tag in Eagles, whether he likes him or not. It doesn't matter. This is about WrestleMania. Barnett and Hayden, on the other hand, working very well together. A. Stevens trying to fight back with a kick to the gut, leading into a DDT. Going for the pin, but Hayden's going to be there to break it up. Damn me for freaking not... Uh, joining in on this match. 
It's been an awesome tag team match. One of the best tag team matches I've actually ever seen. Going on a little bit too long though. Who's going to WrestleMania? Only one of these guys, only one of these uh, teams rather, can fill up those final two spots. Eagles was coming in to break it up, but he didn't need to. Hey, Stevens got out on his own at the count of one. Oh, if I don't know if my batteries are dead or something. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it sticks with me until the episode is over. I hope it doesn't just keep dying. Going for the pin off that lift up power bomb. Will this be it? Oh, it gets out of count of two. Didn't say my battery. It says my battery. It said my uh, before I started the episode. It said my battery were on uh, three bars, so I don't know why it just it shouldn't be dead. <clears throat> you got some rope hanging knee strikes. Gonna look to finish it off with that big boot. Nasty shot to the face. Knocks A. Stevens down to the outside. Stevens is in big time trouble, guys. Believe me, has got to come over to help him. There he is coming over to help his tag team partner. Oh, but he doesn't need to, I guess. I'd be furious if I were Eagles right now, dude. Ace Stevens just refuses to freaking tag him in. Going for a springboard. Move! Nasty knee right to the side of the head. Now he's lifting him up. What's he looking for here? He's looking for that th third set out suplex slam on Mr. Barnett. Barnett has received three of those now. He's going to go for the pin. He's dragging him off, though. What's he doing? One. Two. Oh, breaks it up in a close count of two. He got the ref. Got the referee on that one, too. Elbow right to the back of the ref's head. What a close tag team match this is, guys. Finishers galore. A. Stevens refusing to tag out. He's going to cost himself the win. I, I, I actually, like, don't understand why the computer is not tagging out to Liam Eagles. just refusing to. Hayden, while though, Barnett's got to get the tag out. <clears throat> He's in trouble. Off that sit-out suplex slam. Or that suplex, uh, yeah, sit-out suplex slam it is. I was right. Powerbomb by Stevens. Oh, I set him up for the big boot. That's the wrong spot, though. Hayden's going to be able to come in and break it up right away. He gets it off, though. He manages to get off the big boot, but yet, like I predicted, there's Hayden going to break it up the count of one. You gotta strategize, Ace. You, you gotta pick your spots. And you gotta tag in Liam Eagles. Fucking Christ. Come on, Stevens. I wanna see you go to WrestleMania. I wanna see you get a shot to win Money in the Bank. You're killing me here. And that, that triangle hold. Hell's Gate by Brad Barnett. Lee Meagles got to break it up. A. Stevens, did he tap out? He tapped out, guys. A. Stevens tapped out for Liam Eagles to break up the submission hold. And the final two spots of the Money in the Bank ladder match have been filled, guys. It is going to be Brad Barnett and Hayden Blade Kitely joining the likes of Scott Nori, Xander Slate, Aaron White, and Bison at WrestleMania. A. Stevens cost his tag team the win there. What a sham. I'd be pissed off if I were Liam Eagles right now. I'm pretty sure Eagles is going to have something to say about this. This is what finished it off, guys. That reversal by Barnett, and then he locked in Hell's Gate. That, that hole driving the neck right down onto the shin. And right before Eagles broke it up, a. Stevens tapped out. He would have held in just like literally like two more seconds. Nonetheless, guys, A. Stevens taps out. Cross his tag team to win. Liam Eagles is furious, I'm sure. And we got our final two entrants in the Money in the Bank ladder match. It's going to be Hayden Blades tightly, and it's going to be Brad Barnett. Working very well here tonight. Both teams did. In the early beginning, Liam Eagles and A. Stevens working really well together. It was just in the end there. A. Stevens refusing to tag in Liam Eagles. It cost them the win. If we got our Money in the Bank match set now, guys. I think you might get a set mania. Maybe you two will be involved in that fatal four-way number one contenders match. Okay, thank you. <clears throat>
But yes, got our money in the bank match filled up. We know all six competitors, guys. It's going to definitely be a great one. I, I I don't even know who to pick. We've got Xander Slate, Bison, Scott Nori, Aaron White, Blade, or, yeah, Blade and Brad Barnett. That's an awesome six competitor. Look at how Blade's uh, freaking hand is covering up Brad Barnett's face. That was an awesome tag team match, though. Filled up the final two spots, guys. Thank you for joining me this for this episode of Community Universe Mode, the big 2-0. Tomorrow I will be filming the last week leading up to Mania. And then Sunday, guys, is going to be WrestleMania itself. I cannot wait for that one. Remember, I'm going to be filming at either 3 or 4 o'clock, so make sure you join me. If you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you do so. And uh, if you liked it, like it, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode.